Hello everyone, just a disclaimer before the video. This video is presented solely for educational and knowledge sharing purposes. All demonstrations are conducted in a legal, isolated lab environment on systems I own or have explicit authorization to test. The channel does not condone illegal activities. Misuse of the tools or techniques demonstrated may violate applicable laws and organizational policies and viewers are responsible for ensuring their own actions comply with all legal and ethical requirements. Hello everyone, it has been a long time since the last upload and here it is. A new video that demonstrates how a publicly available tool published in 2024 can still be utilized today to bypass the latest Windows Defender on a Windows 11 machine to execute a Metasploit Metaprita reverse shell. This is the tool that we will be showing today, a shellcode loader or a shellcode packer known as SuperMega. There are a few write-ups and references that detail about the tool. We won't be reading off them to save time, so feel free to do so to have a deeper understanding of the tool. You will need Visual Studio and Python installed to run this. The actual payload generator will be independent and standalone, so the payload will work without any dependencies on your victim machine. If we were to try downloading Super Mega directly, it will get picked up by Windows Defender. This is due to the default shellcode templates that come with the two source files. Let's create a Windows Defender exclusion on our downloads folder to get around it. Of course, the actual Windows Defender bypass will be executed from a folder that is not part of Windows Defender exclusion. Alright, the download works now. Let's extract the zip file. If we were to look at the data binary folder, this is where you can add your own legitimate exe executables and shell codes. We will need to use the Visual Studio Developer command prompt to launch this. Else, the build tools will not be part of our path and the following error will be encountered. Alright, it is working now. Let's browse to the Super Mega Web Portal. It has a nice UI to generate our payload. The web portal has some descriptions of the usage of the tool. Again, reading the references provided in the GitHub page is strongly recommended. The injectable should be a legitimate EXE executable that you want to backdoor your shellcode into. And the shellcode should be the payload that you want to deliver, such as a reverse shell. Now let's hop over to our Kali machine and generate a Metaprita HTTPS reverse shell. Now let's create a listener for the reverse shell with MSF console. Let's transfer the shellcode over to our Windows machine so that Super Mega can build our own custom EXE payload. The Metaprita shellcode should show up now in our Super Mega web portal. By default, the shellcode location is set to rdata, and in this case, this will cause an error as the size is insufficient to insert the shellcode into. Let's switch to .txt instead. Let's leave the other options as default and see how it goes.
great, Super Mega was able to create the payload successfully. Now let's transfer the Compound EXE payload to a folder that is not part of Windows Defender exclusion, such as our desktop folder instead. Oh dear, it seems like Windows Defender is able to pick up the EXE payload immediately. Again, this tool was published in 2024, so not really a surprise that the default options get picked up by Windows Defender. Let's try again by changing the option just a little bit. Let's set the decoy option to win exec and recompile the payload. Now let's try transferring the Compound ESE payload again to our desktop folder. Nice, there is no Windows Defender detection anymore. This is looking good. Let's trigger a manual scan on the ESE binary itself. Nice, no threats were found. That is good. Let's double click on the ESE payload to execute it. Awesome, we have a Metabriter reverse shell callback now. We have successfully bypassed the latest Windows Defender and obtained a functional Metabriter reverse shell. This is pretty easy. We can even do a quick scan on our Windows 11 and see if it detects the established Metabriter reverse shell. Nice, no detections and no threats were found. Our Metabriter reverse shell is also still functional after the Windows Defender scan. Alright all, this is it to today's video. A quick and straightforward demonstration with no BS. I hope you have enjoyed the video and the hands-on demonstration. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.